here, everyone. So, um, someone asked me to make a video about these markers. I hope you can see we're in my kitchen and I have the window open and there's some light coming in it. I hope it doesn't all kind of blur out. Um, so these markers, uh, these are from Dollar Tree. They're jot markers and I got these in my Christmas stocking. Someone asked me to review them. I'm going to do that and I'm going to show you some other things too. I'm going to put this video on both of my channels, but I wanted to say again to the people on my first channel, this channel right here, um, at the one that has my name, um, from here on out, I'm probably going to only post art related videos on my art channel. So I will leave a link in the description box of my art channel, and if you want to, you can go and follow that channel too, and that way um, you'll see just the art related videos and not a lot of other things, okay? So yeah, this is what we're gonna do. Let me let me turn this overhead light off and see if that makes things better. Hang on one second, sorry. Okay, I don't know if that's better or not. <laughs> anyway, so Jot has these markers and they are at the Dollar Tree and I got these in my Christmas stocking. They have six in there. Um, I went the other day to get another pack because my yellow is starting to run out and I noticed now they have them in the eight pack so you can get eight markers notice though you get a lot of reddish colors which is kind of odd to me to have that many reds or pinkish type colors in there so sorry again for the for the glare I'm between phones right now so I can't record this on my phone um anyway yeah so now they have the eight pack and I mean, why buy six when you can get eight, right? So I'm going to um, show you how well they color. I really, really like them. In fact, I like them better than Sharpies. Why do I like them better than Sharpies? Because they don't, um, what's the word, how Sharpies do? They don't, you know how Sharpies are like uneven? And when you color with them, like on long strokes and you'll get some patchy, kind of things, yeah, but they don't do that. <clears throat> so I really like them a lot, and I'm going to pick a page here. This is uh, Delightful Dogs, I think. Yeah, Delightful Dogs by Colorama. And I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna test it on this little guy right here. I'm going to open the new ones, and might as well show you all <coughs> of the colors. Okay, so they're just like this. They're just like regular uh, permanent markers, just like Sharpies. Um, like I said, I haven't had any problem. They, they're so juicy. The ink comes right out, and it's very flowy. You don't get the streaks. That's the word I was looking for. Yep, streaks. So I'm doing this quickly and not very well, but... There is the pink color. More of a, oh no, I guess a magenta. Okay, the next one they have here is, I guess this one would be more of a true red. Oh yeah. And I don't notice with these, I don't notice that weird spreading problem that you get with the Sharpie. I haven't noticed that. So that was a nice surprise as well because I hate that. So there you have the red color. This next color is like a cross between the first two. Um, maybe more of a brick red or a maroon. Let me pick a big spot so you can see it good. I hope you can tell how juicy and easy the, the ink comes out of these. I just couldn't believe it because, you know, some of the Dollar Tree uh, markers and stuff, I have not really enjoyed very, very much. I mean, they, they came in handy for some things, but yeah. So up here you have that color that I just tested out. It's like a maroon. All right, orange, 
I'm going to start moving a little faster, guys, because I think you get the idea. Orange. Yellow. Light green. Well, actually, the outside is colored light green, but the ink itself is more of a regular, like, limey type green. The blue, it's darker than the outside. And then the purple. Okay. So there you have a sample of all of the colors in this pack. They're bright, they're juicy. I mean, you get eight for a dollar. Very, very worth it, in my opinion, because I do buy Sharpies uh, a lot when I run out. And I think I just bought one at Myers and it was a dollar something for one. And sometimes the Dollar Tree has very basic colors of Sharpies for a dollar, but I mean, to have eight and for them to be that bright and juicy, I think is a great bargain. So while I had you guys here with the markers, I did want to just show you a few couple other things. The Dollar Tree still has these. These are the Glitter Magic Marker, it's called. They come in two packs, so you get like, I think they come this way, red and blue together and then green and gold together. I haven't seen any other colors, but these four so if you have, let me know. Um, but these things are absolutely awesome. And a lot of channels have showed these. But I'm just going to show these to my um, followers that maybe haven't seen them yet. you got to give it a real good shake. When you first get it, you might think it's not working because it takes a while to come out. You just have to kind of get a paper towel whoops, and have it kind of pressed down. And then the ink will come out. But here's how, how these look. Um, I think they're great for basically 50 cents a piece. But if you want to add glitter, well, can you see? Eh. If you want to add glitter and shine and shimmer and all that to your coloring books or to your um, art journal pages, whatever the purpose may be for you wanting them. They're great, and they're also great at Christmas time, which is why I think uh, they're still around. So these were really heavily populated in the stores at Christmas time because you can use them on ornaments. Um, you can use them for a lot of different things. So if you get the chance and you see these at the Dollar Tree, I promise you, you will love them. Okay, and one last thing I wanted to show you. Yeah. <laughs> um, so these are the Paper Craft brand Artist Watercolor Pencils. I've had these for a while and I almost got rid of them uh, because here's why. So you get, let me see, six pencils in here. Again, this is Dollar Tree, so six for a dollar. And they look like this. So when I first took them home, I did the thing where you color with it and I was like ill it's I mean it's coloring the coloring part with it just like this is just like using a cheap pencil that you probably wouldn't want to use all right and then you add water to it what you're gonna get is kind of streaky and messy so like i said i almost got rid of them i just did not like the way i couldn't get even coverage and then i discovered that if you just we'll use this purple you can see i've used it quite a bit if you just take your water brush and the pencil and apply it directly from the lead so that you have the color on the brush. Oh yeah, big difference. Um, it's probably not gonna show up very well here, 
but I have used these quite a bit for backgrounds um, on my Johanna Basford books. I love the way this does a background. Look right here on his whisker area. Oh, so it's very like light and painterly. Um, it's perfect for backgrounds because you don't want your background to overshadow, overshadow your foreground. And this just gives that really light, just, um, and I'm sure if you applied it twice, you could get it darker, but it just gives that really light touch of color uh, for your background. So yes, if you see these at the Dollar Tree, you might want to grab them and give them a try for journaling and for coloring books, um, adult coloring books, because I think that it's a really great value for a dollar. You know, you have to you have to try a lot of Dollar Tree things to find the gems, and that's what I've been kind of doing over the years. And I'm lucky that I that I have kids and grandkids that I can pass things to that don't really work for me. Um, but when I do find something that really works, I really appreciate the fact that, you know, it's readily available at the Dollar Tree and um, you can tell everybody about it. They can all try it and enjoy the value of it. So yes, these, the glitter markers and the pens that look like this, the permanent ink pens that look like this markers, except now they have the eight pack. So grab the eight pack. Um, all of these are great products and you know, highly recommend that you try them. So thank you for watching and don't forget, I'm going to link you to my actual art channel um, if you're watching this on my first channel. So I'd rather kind of keep things a little bit separated so it doesn't get as confusing. So if you could go over there and follow, that would be great. And again, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day.